So this is what Dr. Drew and I discovered. Mm -hmm. Some girls get into porn because maybe they were like molested or had, you know, stuff like that. I was overly attentioned as a child. My grandparents, just tons of attention. I was, you know, the star of my, all my school dance productions. I was student council president. I was like a straight A student. I just always was attention, you know? So, and just always set of attention amongst my group of friends. When I was 16, my grandfather died and I lost a lot of attention. Mm. And so I needed to get male attention. So that's when I started having a lot of boyfriends from 16 on. I also, my grandmother could no longer give me attention. Her Parkinson's disease got worse. My mom was always like a sister to me. Now she's a daughter. So all of a sudden at 16 on, I really needed attention. And um, so I was still doing my dance and ballet. And then eventually I was drinking. Ballet wasn't as important. And then I ended up in a strip club. And I was like, wow, I get to drink. I get to dance. And I get attention. And make money. Like, best job ever. You know, when I was 19, I thought that. But I need attention. That was the point of the story. You get punched in the face? Do I get punched in the face? Yeah, have you? Um, just like an ex-boyfriend. Broke your nose, huh? No, this is my regular... Somebody never broke your nose? Okay, so when I was 24, I was on stage with my best friend, Tawny Roberts, the one who gave me Xanax. Yeah. And she, we were really drunk on stage, she kicked me with her heel uh -huh. in the nose. So then I was really uh -huh. mad because I was like on stage, like, my perfect nose is ruined. So then I grabbed her, she was on the, laying on her back by her nose and just banged her head into the ground. That, I, I, yeah, but this like... This is the greatest strip show I've ever heard. Oh, of. yeah, we made so much money that night. Oh, <laughs> But yeah, it was awesome. But my nose, I was so mad. And I was like, she's like, I didn't do anything to it. But my makeup artist, when she saw my nose, she's like, no, no, it's a little crooked. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Do when you I, miss, do you miss uh, like the porn world? I do. I do a lot. And I honestly believe, like, so I stopped when I was 29. I met my husband. I was just about to maybe go back to porn. When I divorced him uh, a little over a year ago, I was already all set. I called the people, you know, who own like browsers and Pornhub, and I was gonna do like a. You're look, back. I was gonna do a little spokesperson job, but then my psychiatrist was like, "You need to go into rehab." So then I told the, the the porn people, "I'll go and I'll do this contract and I'll make my comeback," you know. And then I went into rehab and I met this guy, and so then I had to call them and say like, "No, I'm not gonna do porn." 